It's just about nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah, about nine a.m. Around that area there. It's October thirty-first. It's Halloween, two thousand thirteen, and it's time for the beginning of another BTS vlog. Yeah, I know it's just been less than well, a little bit more than an hour. Then I ended the last segment for uh, for the previous BTS vlog. But this is how things go. It, 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 there isn't really a break between night and day. There is not really uh, a break between days. It just this is the way kind of sometimes way research is is that you go all the time as even when you're asleep you're kind of figuring out uh, what's going on in your sleep in terms of uh, your your dreams are where you resolve some of the unresolved problems during the day some of the things you feel about you work through uh, issues <laughs> and problems while you're sleeping so it's Research is, is one of those one of those uh, fields where there isn't uh, really an off time, and even right now I've got my doc on uh, uh, my documentary up on on there. Uh, what I'm looking at now, I'm working on uh, the um, my um, atmospheric observatory, my Earth observatory. Uh, I've created a virtual Earth observatory. I've got a number of instruments on my desk here where I can access the different satellites, but I want to connect what's going on the satellites to what's going on the ground the best place to go is YouTube you look for storm chasing documentaries to storm chasing videos and you don't want the ones specifically that are pre-done by a particular channel in terms of a, a commercial channel what you want is you want the raw footage from the storm cha storm chasers themselves this is where you can bring in a lot a lot of you know, a much better material than you would have if you uh, were looking at it from the perspective of a documentary maker. So this is what I'm doing here. I've, I've seen some of the stuff that's on, on TV. I've done some of the storm chasing myself. I've recorded some storms. Uh, the, the, and I've sort of, sort of done the research that sort of correlates the, what I see on the satellite imagery with uh, what's on the videos and what's down locally, so that's where that's kind of going now. And this is, this will eventually come out in, in the Insta vlogs, uh, but uh, not right now. On to the business of the day. Uh, first thing up, and this is sort of the setting the daily schedule. Is uh, I'm going to be doing some cleaning and organizing around here. There's also the university. I have. <laughs> it stays on the schedule until it's finished. Um, admissions and the, and the campus portals have to be done on both Google and Facebook. Then I have to go over to Cyborg Alpha TV. In Cyborg Alpha TV. There's adjustments to the playlists and schedules. These are the production schedules. There's work on the production notes that have to be done. Uh, this includes uh, finishing the production notes on on. Uh, Inst the insta vlogs and filming the insta vlogs i also have to there's uh those i have to finish the episodes on uh, f on beauty and the geek ubuntu bsd unix Tau, and there's some others that are still in the editing bay uh but because the editing bay is kind of disorganized i've got to sit down and reorganize the um editing bay to reflect the new production schedule so that the editing bay does not become the stumbling block uh, that sort of delays and really trips up the schedule, the production schedule uh, for Cyborg Alpha TV. And once I've done that, uh, done all that stuff, I have to add more to the schedule. And that means I have, uh, and, and the more that I have to add is because the university is online, the best way to reach students is through the through a university television channel. That means I have to do, add AKU TV uh, uh, production to the schedule and into the production notes. So they all have this, the, the, these programs that are going to be specific to the university have to be uh, scheduled in and they have to have notes. So that all has to be done today. And, and, and so it pre presents a, a, a fair amount of work that has to be done. And there's no ifs, ands, and buts about it that it has to get done. But uh, the thing is that I am getting... Uh, you know, in terms of the crash and everything, I said it sometimes takes a week to get out to to sort of 
pull away from the crash in terms of the amount of work and productivity you get done. And this is certainly the case here is that there is a lot more that can be done. There is a lot more to be done. And as more is being done, I'm realizing that with the BTS vlogs, the BTS vlogs need to change a little bit again. And what I'm going to be doing with the BTS vlogs is rolling in uh, the uh, the uh, tags, shopping, and YouTube stroll are all going to now be part of the uh, BTS vlogs. I've already got the shopping in there. I just don't have the tags and I don't have uh, the YouTube store. When I, when I go around the uh, YouTube, I go talk to different people. I go buy different people's channels. Uh, I have friends on YouTube that I go by and say hello to. And the thing is, is that this is something that has to be kept up. You, you know, it, it, it's not only a chore, but it's also fun to do. I, I, it's something I, I enjoy doing, so it's not as different. But... You know, you do have to be, uh, if you plan to be part of a community, you have to be sociable in the community. So, this is kind of the whole thing here. Uh, beyond that, uh, what do I say? Uh, <laughs> this is where, where it gets a little bit. Um, but what happened is that because uh, BTS vlogs and Instagram, and, and, and Insta vlog, Insta vlogs are both part of BBTRL, I'm not going to be rolling. Uh, uh, Insta vlogs into uh, BTS vlogs, so BBTRL, the Big Bang Theory, uh, real life, is gonna be the two segments: the BTS vlogs and the uh, Insta vlogs. Those two components make up B B uh, BBTRL. So that's the way it's gonna stay. Uh, there isn't any more consolidation than that. And the thing is, what's gonna have to happen over the next couple of days is the uh, playlist will have to be adjusted uh, to reflect this. So, but anyways, uh, that's what we have on the schedule for today. We'll see how, how much we get done by the end of the day. Uh, and I will check in periodically and uh, let you know how things are progressing and what's sort of going on. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. And it's noon and it's time for the next segment of the BTS vlog. Uh, as I said, what I was gonna do is I would ro roll in the YouTube stroll into the BTS vlogs along with tags and some video comments. That's because, you know, when I do the YouTube stroll, I come by these videos uh, that are my friends' channels, or sometimes I just, you know, scroll through, scroll through the uh, subscription list and randomly go wherever I, you know, whatever shows up in the subscription list. Uh, and sometimes you run across videos you want to comment on, sometimes you just want to say hello, uh, <laughs> a lot of times you get comments. Before there was, uh, YouTube had just begun changing itself uh, into a more commercial platform. So a lot of the uh, community interaction, like uh, video responses, that, al that allowed you to uh, sort of have a video discussion with uh, somebody on YouTube, that's kind of gone now. You can do it, but it's, it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, so, uh, there isn't really the way to, to sort of do the discussions. I think there might be a way around it, but I kind of have to look at it and sort of see uh, where things are going like that uh, for that uh, particular issue. Um, what was I going to say? So, well, we'll do the YouTube stroll. Uh, uh, we just finished work, working on a video. Uh, <coughs> I have YouTube uh, up above and, and YouTube below. Uh, the YouTube above is for uh, doing the work on Insta vlogs, and that particular section is called Or Vlogs. Or stands for Oceanographic Atmospheric Research, uh, and it's specific to this. And so I was looking at these different storm chasing uh, vlogs, uh, channels, and videos, uh, looking for some pretty interesting stuff. One of the things I noticed is that uh, when they're filming the uh, storm sequences, or whenever you're outside, anyone sort of knows the sound issues with wind, uh, with the video cameras. And so I I'm going to try to sort of see if I can sort of develop a rig. Cause I try, I tried one of those those uh, outdoor cameras with the, with a case around it, and it didn't really work too well because it blocks out a lot of the sound. It really really does actually block the sound. Uh, so you don't want the sound being blocked to fully enclose your camera. What you want to do is you want to protect it from the weather. So you want to have it further in 
but I guess you want to sort of have an open face type of box where the camera's inside, you can see the, the, the viewer, and you can get access to the, to the uh, what you call it, to the buttons, but you also at the same time want to protect it from the elements. So I'm going to look in to see if I can actually build a box for myself that would be good for the camera to sort of protect it, and then go from there. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet, but uh, uh, it, it's going to be one of those projects that, that's sort of on the to-do list uh, once the uh, machine shop gets fully fixed up. Uh, so I said I went on the the, uh, the last couple of days. I was sort of going around to different channels. I stopped by Nerds RL to watch her uh, video, uh, the Cassandra's video. Uh, and she said they had the one called uh, Birthday Boss. That's her latest uh, vlog, her later, latest video and vlog. They're kind of one and the same thing. Uh, what happens is that. Uh, when uh, someone starts actually getting a job or they're not in school as much anymore, uh, their vlogging falls off because work kind of interferes. And in many cases, when you're at work or particular issues, particular things like that, not issues, but uh, things like work, out in public, you're not, people don't want you to vlog while you're there. So your vlogging kind of falls off and that's what's happened to happen. Cassandra for a while now is that her vlogging has kind of fallen off and she's kind of trying to get back into it again. But there, there's a barrier. Once you stop doing the vlogging every day, there is a, uh, a an adjustment period coming back to it again, being more open with the camera, talking to the camera as if, as if you're talking to somebody there. In other words, uh, when, we're t when I'm talking to the camera here, I'm, I'm talking as if I'm actually talking to you, the viewer. In other words, we, you and I are having a conversation. But this conversation is kind of a delayed com conversation because you're watching it whenever you want to watch this. I'm saying this now, at my particular time, it's, it's about 12.08, and you're going to watch it whenever you're watching it. So the conversation, even though I recorded it earlier, appears to be real. And in other words, it it, it is a conversation, but a sort of a... Uh, I guess one could view it in, in the way you would view a letter or correspondence. You write a letter to somebody, they get it, they read it, and then they reply back, if they want to reply back. And this is kind of the case here, but instead of sending a letter, you're sending the video. And instead of just sort of the person reading the stuff, they're listening, they're, they're hearing you describe or whatever, you, whatever it is that you're trying to tell them or trying to describe. So... That's kind of the way it is with vlogging. And when you stop that, when you stop the vlogging, when you stop the correspondence for, for a particular period of time, it's difficult to get back into it again because it's difficult to get back into the frame of mind that you need in order to vlog. And this is sort of the issue that uh, Cassandra is sort of dealing with. And she was one of her, one of one of the segments of the of the vlog. She was talking about the the, the physiology of laughing, uh, and noticing that uh, whenever your person laughs, that primarily when you laugh like a ha ha ha, that you're that you're actually exhaling, and that very rare except, except for maybe Sheldon Cooper, uh, do uh, does a person laugh when they inhale? But the thing is, the the funny thing is, when you look at listen to most people laughing, it is more of a ha ha ha. It's only when you get a geek like a <gasps> like that, that when you have them swallowing, inhaling during the laugh that you get your sort of the geek snort and the, the, the wheezing and the whole bit that goes with it. In other words, uh, geeks when they laugh tend to go into a sort of hyperventilation, <laughs> if you want to look at it that way, uh, when they start to laugh. Uh, and that's, that's a walking, uh, strolling around there. I bumped into my friend, and that happens in the comments. You see the comments below. Uh, you bump, you can bump into people you know on YouTube. And one of the girls I know on YouTube is uh, Brittany. She's from uh, Brittle Productions. And uh, so I'm in the com comments, start talking to her, just sort of saying hi. And then she said hi back and what's up. In other words, the conversation kind of uh, grew out of it. And I went by her channel to sort of see what she was doing. And our discussion sort of w went into sort of trick-or-treating because one of her videos was on trick-or-treating. And she had sort of fall, uh, not really fall, but uh, thought of the same thing I had been thinking of, that you can go back out trick-or-treating uh, because she's in biochemistry. 
uh, that she can go tricking, trick or treating as a biochemist, and all she has to do is use their stuff from school to go out trick or treating. And I was ever thinking, you know, I do cybernetics. I can go out as a cybernetic. I can do a lot of the sci-fi stuff now, uh, sort of just being myself. And this is even true for anime. If I went to an anime convention, I could just go with myself because I'm doing a lot of the fantasy stuff for real that most people sort of, that, that's part of their entertainment. Uh, but the thing is, I don't have the guts to go out, <laughs> this is the thing, I don't have the, go, I don't have the guts to go out trick-or-treating. Because, uh, it, you know, imagine me showing up at your doorstep asking for candy. And I made an error. <laughs> And I didn't start record. I didn't hit the record button when I was supposed to hit the record button. So we're gonna do this again. Uh, I went, just finished my YouTube. Then I finished, but I just finished one part of my YouTube stroll. I do my YouTube stroll whenever uh, uh, there isn't really much else to do, and I want to go around and sort of see what's going on. You do have to do that YouTube stroll. If you're a YouTuber, you do have to do the YouTube stroll to sort of see what's going on out there and keep yourself out there and be part of the community. Uh, but it's also a lot of fun because you meet a lot of interesting people out there. Uh, so at the same time, while I'm doing my and the thing is, I do my YouTube, this is the way I get my YouTube stroll done. Is I have the documentaries on uh, for, for my Insta vlogs. This is for the, uh, for the OR vlogs. OR stands for Oceanographic and Atmospheric Research. Uh, those logs are particularly having to do with uh, uh, climate, with, an with atmospheric physics, and it also involves uh, storm chasing. So I was looking at a number of storm chasing videos to look at the issues with filming, uh, particularly uh, filming storms. And there are a number of issues, particularly the issues with wind, that have to be sort of dealt with in terms of dealing with the type of camera that you bring out there. The protection that you have that you need for the camera that's out there, and rather than simply buying it, it is way, there are ways that you can actually make the, the equipment yourself. So that's what I was kind of looking into. But beyond that, as I said, onto the YouTube stroll, uh, while I was doing the YouTube stroll, and this was actually even a couple days ago, I went by uh, my friend's uh, web, web ch uh, channel, which would say, her French channel, uh, it's uh, Nerd Zorel from Cassandra. She's the girl that I start. Nerd uh, Ralph is the channel that sort of allowed me to start what I was doing. It gave me the idea that I could do what I'm doing today, and it was sort of how I got started was from watching Cassandra's videos. And she had uh, the video up, the latest video that I have seen that I've seen so far was one called uh, "Birthday Boss," and apparently it was, her birthday is not too far away from mine. Uh, mine is the 29th. Hers, I think, is the 23rd of October. So, you wish her a happy birthday. You'll watch the video. Uh, you watch her talking about um, vlogging and the, sort of the, the, the complications with vlogging, particularly when you stop. And I said before in the, in the last, uh, <laughs> in the in, in the first take that I that I didn't actually turn the, the uh, camera on for, I didn't hit the record button properly. I had stated that uh, vlogging is a lot like correspondence, like like writing to something, having a pen pal, where the conversation is somewhat delayed. You write someone a letter talking to them, and then they write you back. And this is kind of what it's like on YouTube, that you have this sort of conversation, the delayed conversation, a correspondence between yourself and the people who are watching. And if the person watching wants to write back or comment back, you can comment down below. There is a comment place for comment, so we can have a discussion. Or you can, if you're a YouTuber, you can uh, create a video and send that. Let me know. Hey, I've created a video uh, responding to your video. In other words, you have a, con a video correspondence back and forth on whatever we, whatever it is you want to talk about. And the thing is that in vlogs, in this discussion, uh, if you're away from it for a bit, and she has been away from it for a bit, uh, that it, it does take a bit of doing to get back into it again. There is a mindset that you have to be in. Uh, in order to do that vlogging. So she was talking about that, and what else was it? She was talking about the, and I found interesting, the, the physiology of laughing. And I realized, and this is where I sort of bring it up, that uh, the physiology of laughing, you don't really think about it until you actually have to, someone talks about it. And you realize that when most people, when most people laugh, they exhale like, ha, 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 ha. You know, and, that, and you're exhaling as you're doing that. But, Sheldon Cooper, and this is common to mo to a lot of geeks, actually inhale when they're um, when they're laughing. And that's the 
that's that's the that sound there, and that's actually a, a, again in many ways it's, it's a hyper it's a hyperventilation type of laugh. Instead of laughing and simply exhaling, there is a hyperventilate hyperventilate hyper hyper, 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 hyper uh, ventilation going on. In other words, the, the, the breathing breathing goes into a sort of some of it of a spasm. And I guess why you can call a geek a spaz too uh, when they laugh. Uh, where, where, where are we now? Yeah, finishing on the laugh. But as I was going through the video, and this is what happens because you do comment below, and you make your comment below, and sometimes if someone shows up at almost around the same time you do and makes a comment, you can you can see their comment pop up. Or if they've commented just before you and you're sort of in that area, you can see them. You can see that they commented. And sometimes if you've been and if you've been on YouTube enough and you've been on the channel enough, you get to know the people below down below in the comments. You get to sort of see them. So every once in a while, if you bump into them and you're in, you're making comments around the same time or your comments are in the same area, you say hello. <laughs> and that's what I did. I have one of my friends, my YouTube friends uh, named uh, Brittany. Her channel is uh, Brittle Productions. And I saw her comments to uh, Cassandra. So I said hello. And that kind of struck up a conversation about Halloween and uh, going out and dressing for Halloween. And how she wanted to go out and dress as a biochemist because she's studying biochemistry. So she wants to go out now and dress as a biochemist because it's easy to do. And that's kind of what I've been sort of thinking. You know, I could go out as a cyberneticist. I can go into these anime conventions and be a cyberneticist as a costume because that's what I am. It's an easy costume to put together. And uh, I'm in many ways living somebody else's fantasy. So uh, it's not a, thing, not, a, not a problem to do that. The issue is, is that uh, I don't have anyone to go with for an anime convention. And uh, trick-or-treating is kind of weird for me. I haven't got the guts to go out and uh, be the only older person out there. Not with a kid taking a kid out for trick-or-treating, but out for myself trick-or-treating. So that's <laughs> this kind of gets into that, you know, uh, that whole, the awkwardness that a geek usually feels, even though the geek has never, prop, has never really grown up. And then the last issue that we're talking about is we're talking about uh, uh, my bathroom library. I had mentioned that uh, I built a little uh, ba a library in my bathroom, and now she wants one. So I'm going to have to film a, ro a room tour, a bathroom tour, uh, showing my bathroom library uh, probably over the next couple of days uh, once I finish cleaning it up. Anyways, that's it for now. I will talk to you in a few hours. Let you know what's going on for the rest of the day. Uh, Friday. It's about uh, yeah, it's about 9.30 in the morning. So Friday, November 1st, uh, 9.30 in the morning, 2013. This is the ending segment for the uh, uh, October 31st Halloween vlog for 2013. This is the last segment where we go over and talk about uh, what we did during the day. You know, those were the last little bit between... When I talked, when I told you about uh, uh, my YouTube stroll, that was about noon. So this is uh, several hours later on, and almost twelve hours later on, actually. And it, it's more than twelve hours. It's twelve. To, twelve is noon. Twelve p.m. noon to midnight is is uh, twelve hours. Plus another nine hours, so we're looking at about um, twenty-one hours. So t twenty-one hours in total. Almost a whole day has gone by in terms of the hours, and we're doing we're just getting to our last segment. Uh, the crash still does happen. Uh, I'm still working my way out of the crash, but rather than um, um, rather than Rather than do, taking care of the crash all at once, I add a couple hours of sleep uh, on to the crash period uh, every day, and that sort of resolves the problem without sort of having to sort of get rid of an entire day. But 
Uh, things have been going well. Uh, I was able to get the work done on the university campus, the uh, the uh, admissions po admission portal and the and the admissions and campus portals. I was able to do that on Google. Uh, I did some other work, some up fixing up for the channels that are coming up here that, are, that will be sort of being rolled into the Cyborg Alpha TV network. There's a whole bunch of channels that will be coming in. Uh, but also that I worked, so that, that obviously meant I did work, uh, adjustments to the um, playlists and schedules. I didn't finish shooting uh, Insta Vlogs. I did some work on the production notes and sort of reorganized things. Uh, and I sort of thinking about how to sort of bring these Insta Vlogs along because they're still in the formation stages. Uh, BTS has changed now. Now that I've got the YouTube stroll in here, we've filmed the last segment. We filmed the YouTube stroll, uh, bringing bringing a lot of my comments and my visits, discussions on the, uh, on the visits to uh, the BTS vlog. So that list eventually will disappear. That separate list, video comments will, be, will become part of the uh, uh, what should I say? Will become part of the. The uh, logs, the, the history uh, playlists, the history of, of, of BTS, uh, of BTRL. So there is a, a history of BTRL uh, in the playlist. So you can sort of see where we came from and how things evolved. So the video comments will be going into there. And what you'll see on there, on the main page for, B, uh, for BTRL is the BTS logs and the... Uh, what you call it, the uh, Insta vlogs will be the two main things for 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 uh, uh, BTRL. Uh, what else is there next? Uh, the editing bay has been worked on. That's been sort of coming along. It's not finished, but it's coming along. It's a lot better than it was before, and uh, that means that uh, I've begun to sort of clear spots for uh, uh, the university television channel and three other channels that will be sort of getting started up as we move things along. And these channels will be simply to store different bits and pieces of, uh, of shows as they develop rather than storing everything here. Uh, we're going to spread things around and sort of uh, get things done that way. Uh, that's it for today, really. We're, we're going to come to the end. I'm still uh, tired, but in the beginning of the morning... Well, that's the thing I did. I worked on the kitchen diner as well. Uh, anyways, that's it for today. That's it for uh, this vlog. I'll come back in a couple hours, probably around noon, to start the uh, the next vlog. And you'll see how my day kind of rotates bit by bit. Uh, because what happens, uh, today's vlog on November 1st uh, is going to cover... The November 1st vlog is going to cover the entire week. It's going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And of course, the way we usually do it into Monday. So there's going to be that three, four day weekend there. It's going to be all covered in that one vlog. So that's the way we're going to work it. So I will see you in a couple hours.